Hello everyone and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon where we're going to do this Ruins boss and we're going to win. Now, the boss itself, IIRC, did not seem to be particularly uh, tanky. Didn't seem to have too much damage involved. More damage. Uh, so I think that we should be okay with the DPS that we've got. We've kept some damage versus human on Martinez here, which will remove some dodge, but should extremely very much help with what we're about to do, which is to try and stab a human to death. I think it's human. I believe it's human. Shall we Google it before we screw everything up? Uh, no virtual box. I genuinely don't care. Let's get this up. Profit. It is a... Unholy. Well, that's good to know. I'm actually glad I did that, even though it seems a little bit cheaty. Because... I could have just watched my own episode before I started this, right? So, at least I'm telling you what I'm doing. Where's Audacity gone? There you are. Right. We're ready. Uh, not this, then. But we do have something versus Holy, right? Please? <laughs> Eldritch. Uh, this might be difficult. I mean, we don't necessarily need it. Look at all these, though. I don't think we need four of those. We should sell some. Anything damage versus holy. Damage versus holy. No. 40% heals received. That's really good. Like maybe you should have that instead of this. It's better than this. There you go. Any damage versus holy. I really don't care what it is. Stun skill. More speed might be valuable. Again with the valuable. Range skills, no. Let's take uh, the speed and move resist. That gets us back to 10, which counteracts this one. Wait, what? I don't want this. This one, which I'm no longer using. Um, I mean, we could just do more damage in general. Can we do more damage in general? This is actually turning out to be harder than I expected, because we do not have a holy, an anti-holy thing. Which is a shame. Because it's basically the only one we don't have now. We did get some Eldritch ones, which are going to help in the cove. Um, range skills we're not really using. Well, we might be. More crit. More dodge. There you go. More dodge. More speed. Let's not actually change this. That's okay. Uh, fear of Unholy. That could be a problem. I think we'll be fine. I mean, we're going out with a tiny bit of stress. But mostly we're not really concerned. Um, because the only real unholy thing we're worried about is the one right at the end. And we can camp just before it because it's a medium mission. Bosses are always a medium mission. You're going to get the accuracy ring. And I'm tempted to use this because the reason is that if we can mark early, Martinus can do a proper smacking. Right. This is not ideal. Because most people are level 1. Okay, half of us are level 1, half of us are level 2. Let's go back and make sure that the four people that we've selected are stabby enough. Especially Martinez. Zeke, you've got everything you can have. Dutch, you've got everything you can have. Brian is fully... That's everyone. Alright. And what about Martinez's skills? We've done that. We've done what we care about here. Might take this. It's not hugely expensive. I don't want to use too much because of course we're going to end up not being able to afford it. Oh, although we can probably sell this. Yes. We'll sell two of these. Having two seems fine, but having four seems overkill. We don't need that many. We're going to go and fight the Sonorous Prophet. We will provision. We'll take plenty of torches. We'll take plenty of food. We've got plenty of money because we sold the things. I don't necessarily think it's extremely valuable to be able to take all the things home with us. So I'm not going to worry about keys. Because I'll take one in case we find a secret room. That will be very valuable. Excavations beneath the manor were well underway. 
when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy, toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions and prognosticated publicly that, left unchecked, I would soon unleash doom upon the world. I'm pretty sure you can be the put in the docks his mindless for public prognostication. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be one of these three. There's an infuriatingly shaped dungeon because we don't know which one. Hopefully we'll get a scout beforehand. Here's the exact reason I bought Even extra the shovels. <laughs> stone seems bent on preventing passage. Trap. Good start. What happened to you? 12 Animals damage. We can deal with that dungeon. when we start combat. Which is now. It's not now. Open this. Empty. Fine. Well, so far so good. Here's a um, battle. We really want to be getting Brian's stress down. Um, I should start you in a back position so you can lunge, actually. Oh, that's really, really good. <laughs> I'm super happy to have done that. I was just going for something. I was just thinking. And now I've forgotten what it was. Which happens a lot when I think. Guess we mark this unit. Try and get it down. Why? How did you not go first? Are you that fast? I'm, I'm happy to hear it, but... Yeah, I think Brian will be our, you know, basically going to bring it on home here because stun this unit. Being able to one-shot an enemy, that extra damage is, uh, extra accuracy, I should say, is super good. You're also dead. If I remember what it was I was trying to think, trying to say, I, I will say it. But mostly I'm just going to keep chopping. Did we not buy heal on Brian? Momentum. No, but it would have been reasonably expensive, so I think we'll be okay with it. Oh, we can start using Brian to... Uh, why have you got less stress than you just had? I don't know. Um, Probably you. Probably start using Brian. Yeah, perfect. To heal his own stress sometimes during a round. Well, there's a Curio, but I mean, I think we have to go this way. Which will be our second shovel. I normally bring two or three. But this is just taking the mick. Maybe some food in here? Before some cash. It's okay. Waiting to be spent. Shh. Shush indeed. Dutch. Alright, we'll keep going. I'm reasonably confident it's over here. But hopefully we get a scouting to uh, assist. We don't have any holy water, so it's not a good idea to look in there. I brought extra food. Because I really don't want to go into this fight in any way at a disadvantage if I possibly can. So, I'm going to be fully healed. We're going to camp in this room and hope that we don't pick the wrong direction, I guess. I mean, these are all equidistant from the entrance, which means they all have an equal chance of being the boss. Which means I don't know which one to go to. Which means hopefully we get a scout. We didn't. We could camp after the boss. I mean, it's, it's quite likely to be this one. I feel it's likely to be that one just because of the fact that it's a continuation of the previous one. Oh, we might as well open. Uh, we'll get it on the way back. Oh my god. This is why I brought this much food. Because Soz Law would dictate that this is the run where hunger overtakes us far too many times. It's not this one. Ah, now we get a scouting so we'll know. It's actually down here. So, I mean, there's probably no point in camping, because all we have is stress. But maybe stress is going to be the biggest problem, because the Sonorous Prophet is a stress dealer. And I'd like to play it safe, so I'm going to do so. This doesn't seem ideal, and I understand that I'm probably being very overcautious about this. If we can go into the Sonorous Prophet with no stress, then we remove the major issue, which is the likelihood that the Sonorous Prophet will stress us out to the point where Zeki flips out and won't do any more healing. Remove target disease. Yes, that's what we like. More scouting chances are not useful. I'd like to not get... 
Will companions heal? I'd like to not be ambushed. We can't do that. Everyone increase stress by five. Don't really want to do that. Will companions reduce stress by a lot. That's good. And then we can encourage you. You've still got stress. You can encourage you. Everyone can heal a bit. Which might as well do. Well. Less stress damage. Let's put that on you. Just to ensure that Zeki doesn't stress out. Or at least try to ensure that. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll... 50% chance to heal even more. We might as well just use this. Ah, it's 6 and 2. 3 is at both cost 3. All companions heal 35%. There you go. So now we rest. And hope that we don't have a really annoying fight in the middle of the night. Lark is indeed their ally. Oh my god. This is probably the worst thing that could happen right now. Because not only is it combat, it's this particular combat. They could do a lot of damage to us in the dark. They could completely undo the camping that I just did. So, we're going to have to keep on top of this if we possibly can. I don't know if we can use the torch. I mean, I might as well, right? Fly in my face. We can't use the torch. We might as well do this. Everyone gets a buff. But now people need to move around, like Brian can only walk forwards, right? Zeki, just heal everybody. Ah, uh, no, heal Martinus. Martinus, throw a dagger at this. Thank you for rolling really well there. I mean, we could get out of this quite well off. Now, Brian takes the damage, which is okay. Brian's got protection. Dutch takes a bit of damage, but Zeke can fix it. The bleed is probably not a big deal right now. A crit of 16. Okay, we, we should come out of this okay, but there's still opportunity for this to go horribly, horribly wrong. And then we move back here. Not perfect yet, but at least you're in a position where you can do stuff, and that's the important thing. Not as much as before, but it's still in range of what we're after. So a couple more goes from Zeke. And we can eat some food still. We have got some. Oh, hmm. uh, everyone take a bit. We have got a bandage. I probably should have used it because this is stacked now. It's only two damage, but you know, you're not high level. Part to heal one to three. Turned out to be fours because of our buffs, so that's good. Uh, yeah, might as well use this now. Guess you heal yourself? Or you just shoot that? I was tempted to use that to heal ourselves. Uh, it seemed like that would have been sensible. Because then we wouldn't go into the boss fight with low HP. Well, with any damage at all. But I think that could have gone extremely badly and didn't. So, I guess we count our lucky stars. You're going to move here because I want you to lunge first. Do I? Yes. And I don't want... Yes. I'm going to put you here. So that when you lunge, you're in this position. If Dutch goes first, he can still mark the target. And that's the important part there. Oh, that's pretty good as well. And of course, we're going to be moving around a lot anyway to try and avoid the, the damage and make sure it lands on the people who can cope with it. I uh, should have probably cranked on the torch there a bit. Guess it doesn't matter? Oh, good start. Yep, that's fine. You can stand exactly right there. So let's um put a torch up just because it makes it look a bit nicer. You do get your first go here, but we're going to sniper's mark. And then uh, Martins is going to lunge at one of these things here. And the reason is... 
yeah, basically, Zeke is going to be here. I'll do this first, actually, because we got protection from the falling debris. But Zeke, uh, Brian, sorry, is going to be constantly attacking the things that he can reach, which is only this stuff. So by doing some damage there and getting, you know, just getting that first damage out, I think that's probably a good idea. I assume we have a huge stun resistance, 100%. We do have slightly more. So there's a small chance that we stun it. Have you got any dodge? You have got some dodge. So it's probably better to remove the dodge if possible than to try and stun it at a very, very low likelihood. So I'm assuming... Oh, there we go. So that's only 10 damage. That's much better than we did before, which took us 28 or something damage and basically immediately killed us. So I want to now... I mean, I guess I prefer to step Brian back. Can you do this from the front? No. So we do it now. Hope that you don't have to get to do that in the same turn. I'm pretty sure it has to happen in the next turn, which is what I'm counting on. We're going to put Brian here. Yeah, move. Excuse me? You can only move forwards? You are fucking kidding me, you son of a bitch. Um... <laughs> All right. Surges as the enemy uh, falls. Marty, dodge. Okay. I guess we heal everybody a bit. Make sure everyone's as healed as they can be. So when this bullshit comes down on Marty here, oh, that's a bit gross. When this bullshit comes down on Marty, everything's hunky dory. That's still only eight damage. 18. That's okay. As long as Zeke can get in. Quick. Uh-oh. Right, now we're going to have to move Dutch. Let Zeke have a go. Move Marty. And let Brian have a go. So we move Marty. Because Brian can't fucking move backwards for some goddamn reason. That's a stress attack, which I can cope with. Oh, shit. I'm in the wrong place. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. That was extremely stupid. It's so, okay, we can recover from this because Brian can move forwards. Oh, that was really bad. At least I've realized what I've done. Some Something inside me said it's this, this space and this space, but no, no, no. It's these two spaces. So now Dutch has to move forward as well because, actually, 28, 25. What's your prop? Zero. So you're both on zero, so basically you're the most likely to live. Oh, you can't move forwards. For fuck's sake! <laughs> How is it possible that you cannot walk forwards, you son of a fucking bitch? Well, Zeke, please don't die. Because once again, this fucking fight has fucking owned me. This is BS. How can you not walk forwards? Are you Dutch? We need to have a talk, mate. You and me. Right, let's go in there. I don't care about that. Throw this dagger at this bastard. Do some goddamn damage. Fulminate is not nice, but doable, I guess. Didn't realise it had a blight attack, or I would have done something about that. That's more like it. That's what we like to see. Everyone can basically, you know, heal themselves. Which is complete bullshit what we're talking about. Keep chopping away at this. That's fine. Zeke, you really have to heal. This is... Oh, these are lame. Look at that. One damage per round. Oh, colour me scared, right? Uh, but you kind of need to heal yourself more than you need to heal anybody else. So we will do that, I think. It seems right. I don't know. Rubble of Ruin is... I mean, it's dodgeable, but you didn't for some reason. You dumbass. Okay, so you have to stay there. Unless we try and get Zeke to tank this drop. I don't know. You have to move forwards. Because you can't move backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind your GD skin. Worry about this bullshit. What do we do? I really don't know. Do we try and get Zeke to be in this position? Because Zeke has more HP. They're both going to be on death's door. So I guess what we actually do is we just heal Dutch. And keep healing Dutch. Because Dutch has got a heal of his own, actually. 
Man, this is gross. Can you stop doing it? So you can heal yourself as well. Can't fucking heal yourself. Jesus Christ, mate. <laughs> so shit. Oh my god. Do that. Duck. Oh my god, you fucking dodged it, you beautiful, beautiful people. I love you so much. Never mind what I just said. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. I was I was foolish. I can't move back this far because then Zeke couldn't do anything, which is a shame. I just have to keep dancing like this, which is annoying because we're not getting any DPS on this bastard. But now we will be. Fulminate is just more of this reasonably light... Look, it's two damage, one damage. We can cope with this. In fact, we can Divine Comfort this away. That was really, really good. That seven there, that was as much as a normal heal. But that was on everybody. What? What? I mean, do we just shoot it? Five to 11. I don't want to just shoot it. I've forgotten this actually did the minus dodge, so I didn't need to do that with Ziki in the first place, but okay. Um... Ow, that was a big shot. Yeah, I will. Get on. Chill out. We'll get there. So you're going to prop yourself. You're going to shit yourself. I mean, it's a good rolls that we're doing. We're only on seventh round. Yeah, your veins are on fire with passion and love. I get it. You're going to do that. You're going to heal him. I think we've got this. The pattern's down, but we've taken a lot of damage. It's not been ideal. We could have waited for Zeke to get to level 2 and leveled up to the next... Um, level of, of these healing skills. A dodge on all of that. That's pretty good. Uh, the stress would have been kind of bad, but we're not doing too badly. And that is actually one less down, uh, HP than it was that we originally you know, had to deal with. Now you can't step forward, so you have to step backwards. Do you tank this? I have to suggest it's a bad idea, but you've only got 21 HP left. <laughs> it's dangerous, but everybody's going to get a go, including Brian. It's done. Dust hands, no rubble is falling on our heads. Wow, okay. Those are quite valuable. These are not so much. We're done. Do we want to do any more? We might as well have a look around, right? We've got all this stuff. We may as well like do this battle, try and heal up. We may as well do this curio. What was this curio? I can't remember. Let's go back. I don't know if you'll see a trap. There was a a bookcase actually to open, wasn't there? Did we open it? Have we got a key? We haven't got a key, so we must have opened it. There's nothing over there. We could go and find out what this curio is. It's a battle as well. Uh, now that we haven't got any food left, I'm actually not going to do that. Reason being, if we got another hunger pang, we'd just be spending all our money on <laughs> healing the people who we just, you know, dealt with. More damage, more stress damage, less speed. That's a lot of damage. If we gave that to, like, a leper, for example, something that can heal itself... We've got like 8,000 gold for that run as well. And we've beaten the fucking Prophet, which is brilliant. Brian has bad humours all of a sudden, which is pretty bad. So we're going to put Brian in for D bad humoursing. This is... That can be that can be actually quite good. Um, but with 50% of your HP now being, you know, another 10% of what it used to be, that's pretty bad. More stress damage when... Well, that's okay. That could be a bad thing. But that is a pretty good thing. Well done, Dutch. You successfully dodged the attack that I thought was going to kill you. In time, you will know the tragic <laughs> um, extent of my feelings. But how, how the fuck can you not step forwards, you dick? Now everyone's level 2s and 3s. Everyone leveled up from that, which is great. Psycho is available for another mish. Zeke is level 2, so let's immediately put Zeke in to prepare for the next horrible mission that we're sending them on. Which is going to be another boss. Which is going to be the boss in the cove. Now, we've dealt with the cove before. It was hateful and scary. Um, so, 
If we're going to beat this cove boss, what do we need? Well, we need these two first. These two people have started, you know, feeling entitled and privileged, etc. We can take Mr. Steven's Psycho, which may not be a good idea. We probably won't take Dutch, but instead take Marie, because Marie did really well last time we took her to the cove. Maybe we take Raikuda, because the riposte was also extremely good. But in the front... You know, you'd want to take Brian, wouldn't you? But we can't. Probably take Mr. Steve or Psycho then. Red Hook. You what? Are you all the same colour or something? Maybe. Don't know. So let's have a look at their skills and we'll prepare next episode's episode, basically. Do I want a battle heal here or a holy lance? That could be valuable on a shuffle, you know, when you get uh, surprised, but of course you're not prepared for surprise, really. We could mark ourselves. And we get 32% protection. I think is probably good to tank a boss with. Marie, just upgrade everything. Can't use that from the back. But maybe we look at Zeke and change around one of the, you know, the not back thing. Oh, there's only three things that Zeke could do at the back. Apart from Judgment. Mm, Self-heal. It's not a debuff, but it does do damage. So if we do that, then Zeke can turn off this one. And do this one. Nope. This one. Now Zeke can be at the back. Which means that Marie can be at the second position and do this bleed attack. But honestly, Battlefield Medicine in the cove, it wasn't too useful last time. We didn't meet any bleeding things last time. It could be really good still. We didn't use this very much. So I think we upgrade these two and make sure you have not this but this. Puts you in the third position. Then we decided that Raikuda's in the second position and definitely needs an upgrade of all of these things. The ones that we're using. Especially this Riposte one, that's super good. And that gives us Mr. Steve at the front, Marie, Ziki. These can stay at this level for now. You're not really going to be a damage dealer. It's just something that you can do from the back if it turns out to be useful. And Raikuda seems like a good. Uh, set up in that situation, so give you a bit more damage as well. Maybe not so much of that. Uh, Marie? I feel like we should go out on a mission to get some money first, so we'll do that in the next episode. We have now come to the point where we really need more money before we try and attack the Cove boss, so we'll do that in the next episode. Um, and I hope you will join me for it if you've enjoyed the series so far. Do consider uh, subscribing to the series and sharing on your internet of choice with your friends. Tell everyone else about it, especially if you want to be in it. You can say, look at me, I'm in a series on the internet, I'm famous. Uh, which is not as disingenuous as it might sound, but, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, okay? Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode, uh, and I will uh, fail to exit a video again. <laughs>